First came darkness, then came space, the odyssey. Next the stars evolved, so came the universe. However, a planet was missing, Vamana. Landing on Earth came the Vamana Man. Yes, that's right, I am the Vamana Man. Welcome to another episode of The Bomb Island Man. This is where the action is. Yes, that's right. I am The Bomb Island Man, the most famous man in the universe. <laughs> Happy Diwali to you Earthlings, yes that's right, Happy Diwali to you Earthlings and a prosperous new year, yes that's right, it's all about the light, yes, let's darkness over, over evil and let's bring in the light because that's what Diwali is all about, it's actually about new, new beginnings uh, ahead, of, of, ahead of times and new start for everybody as well. So this is Diwali special, the Vomada man is making a special Diwali recipe for you earthlings. Yes, that's right. Hope you all had a fantastic Diwali, good fireworks celebration, plenty of Indian sweets as well. And going to see all your families and friends and paying respects to your elders as well. Yes, that's right. And hope you're clearing all your house up as well. Yes, for the new year coming. So anyway... Yes, that's right. The year's 2017 and the Vomana man has come straight from down, down, down from Vomana to see you earthlings. Yes, that's right. Hope you well and fighting fit because the Vomana man is 100% action and it's fit as well. Yes, that's right. If I'm fit, then you can be fit as well. So let's get off your potato couch and start doing some exercises as well and do some progression in this autumn season coming ahead. Yes, that's right. So anyway, the Vomana Man is making a Diwali special today for you earthlings, for you to enjoy for this recipe. So let's get the famous Rotlin of Ellen and let's point out the ingredients. Today... On the menu, the Vamana man is going to make special Diwali Rajma Red Kidney Beans Curry. Yes, that's right. The Vamana man is going to make this special recipe for you earthlings. Yes, that's right. It's world famous Vamana man. And you better remember that. Yes, that's right. World famous Vamana man is come to see you earthlings. Yes. So anyway, 
let's get cracking on with this recipe so for this recipe what we're going to need we're going to need some oil so we're going to need some oil as well and then also this actually recipe um, is also in North India and North it's, it's actually North India and, and uh, in Nepal as well yes this famous recipe people in India in North India and also in Nepal they eat this a lot yes the best kidney beans are actually from the origin in Nepal as well the Nepal hills and they eat it with rice and also you can eat it with chapati you can also eat it, eat it with with a wrap it's all entirely up to you and plus you can have a side salad cucumber and some other uh, salads to go with it so anyway so for this recipe you're also going to need some uh, these two kidney beans as well these are in a tin as well these are two kidney beans in a tin and we're going to put them in the pressure cooker along with a bit of a uh, sodium bicarbonate in the pressure cooker just to make it cook a bit better and then we're going to need a tin of tomato as well chopped tomato nice juicy red tomato tin there and then we're going to also need one tin of small potatoes as well then we're also going to need these three red onions you could use white onions if you like but i'm using red onions and then we're also going to need a cinnamon stick here yes this is a cinnamon stick here we need one of them and well, these are called yes these are called aniseed uh, star you can get from the Asian shop ask for aniseed star that's going to leave give a f aniseed flavor and then on top of that we're also going to need some cloves yes that's right there's some um, two two cloves there we're going to need that as well and also let's start with the sodium bar carbonate we're going to need a pinch of that in the pressure cooker we're going to put the uh, kidney beans then we're also going to need some uh, one teaspoon of turmeric powder yes one teaspoon of turmeric powder we're going to use there and then we're also going to use one teaspoon of garam masala there and we're also going to use one teaspoon of coriander powder and then we're also going to use one teaspoon of cumin powder and then we're also going to use one teaspoon of pepper then we're going to also use one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of sugar and then we're going to use a pinch of asphatidia yes we're going to use that in the curry as well and the famous ginger uh, garlic cubes you can get that from any Asian shop and you could defrost that in about 10 seconds and that be ready from the microwave then we also need one teaspoon of mustard seeds so these are the recipes what the Vamana man is going to make today Rajma curry so let's get cracking and start this wonderful journey and make this wonderful curry for you earthlings to eat and enjoy so let's get cracking as they say Welcome back Earthlings, it's the Vomana Man, yes that's right, it's world famous Vomana Man to see you Earthlings. And now what we're going to do now, we're going to mandolin the onions, yes that's right, the Vomana Man is all about speed, making speed work for you because it works for me, yes that's right, the Vomana Man hasn't got time to wait because he's got to get on with the next recipe, so what we're going to do now, uh, we're going to, I've peeled all the, uh, the skin off the onions as well. I've taken the, cup, the, the front skin off and they're going to be ready to mandolin. But remember the, the rule of the golden rule of the Vomana man is to wash your dirty hands, you lazy earthlings. Make sure you give you a good scrub in the nails as well and your hands for at least one minute and they're smelling nice and fresh as well and then start doing this work because all the other, pe all the other people who are going to eat your curry will enjoy it. So give you a good one minute scrubbing your nails as well and your dirty hands because you've had a lot of Diwali sweets and also Diwali food as well. So let's get cracking and start this recipe. So anyway, this is called a mandolin and what we're going to do here, there's no rocket scientist in this, you just put the onion straight in there and you can get this gadget from any supermarket or any kitchen shop you can find. So anyway, this has got a serrated blade, you put that straight into the mandolin like that and this is ready to go. Yes, the action is going left and right, backwards and forward and then when you get the momentum going, it's just like a big fast train, yes that's right. Yes, right. 
just like the locomotion train. Yes, that's right. Getting full speed ahead. I mean, if you want to cut this by hand, that's up to you. But I haven't got time to do all this cutting, chopping up with the, with the knife as well. Because let's face it, we're living in a fast world, and everybody wants to make wonderful dishes and uh, quick as possible. And look at that. This are not just fantastic. Yes, that's right. You can be the master chef in your own kitchen as well because of our minor man is showing how you can become the master in your own kitchen as well. So anyway, these are all be mandolin and now we're gonna start with the next recipes to make. Welcome back Earthlings. So what I've done, I actually open the cans of the kidney beans, uh, put the two tins in a little vessel like this and I've actually drained all the water that was in the tin as well. Yes, when they packed in the factory as well, they've got all water in there, but we want to just disregard all that water. We don't want to put that in a pressure cooker. So spend some time cleaning through the, uh, your water, your taps, or the hot or cold water, it doesn't really matter. So then it's all nice and clean as well. So this is what the kidney beans look like. They're nice and uh, reddish in color as well. Yes, that's right. And what I've done now, we've got a pressure cooker here. We've filled it up with some water as well in there. And this is a small pressure cooker. And now we're just gonna put all the uh, kidney beans in there. We want it to cook uh, until the whistle, whistle blows. One whistle, please. Yes, that's right. And I'm putting a sodium bicarbonate, just a little pinch of that in there to speed up the process of the cooking as well. Yes, that's right. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put the lid on, on the pressure cooker right now. And as we put the lid on there, it's gonna be forming a nice seal. And this is called a whistle. Yes, that's right. This is the whistle of a pressure cooker. We'll go straight on there. And what happens is when the heat actually progresses on and it heat leads, reaches a certain temperature, boiling point, the steam will start blowing and the whistle will actually blow. Yes, that's right. This is called a pressure cooker. Remember that, this is a prayer pressure cooker. You can get that from any Asian shop or even supermarket. Because I've got the means and I've got a pressure cooker. It's all about speeding our process as well. So now I'm gonna turn on the gas stove as well and we're gonna let this cook until the whistle blows as well. So yes, I'll be back soon now, Earthlings. All right, welcome back, Earthlings. What we also do while the pressure cooker is running, I've actually t uh, opened the can of the potatoes as well, drain all the water out and run them through the tap as well. So there's no factory water in there. And I've actually filled it with some water in it. Any pan saucepan will be okay, any vessel, and put some water in, in there and let that boil as well. Get that cooking as well. So yeah, so it just makes it a bit easier when we're cooking all the recipe uh, in a, a nice little wok or any pan that you will have at your house uh, to speed up the cooking process. So I actually put the potatoes in there to actually speed up the process as well. You can put them in a pressure cook if you want, but I like to do this this way because that's my method. I'll be back soon now, Earthlings. Come back, Earthlings. So I've actually pressure cooked cook, 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 uh, the kidney beans. So look at that, they've gone nice and uh, darkish color now. Yep, they've gone that darkish color. And I've actually taken a lot of the water out of the vessel as well. So we're gonna put this to one side. And then the other potatoes as well. So they've all been nicely steamed and I've cooked them in half as well. So now we're gonna start doing the cooking process. So first of all, we're gonna put the pan in there. And then we're gonna also gonna turn on the pan. Yes, that's right. Yes, safety first, we've turned that on. And now we're going to put some oil in there. Yep, you can use a, a vegetable oil or a rapeseed oil. I like to use rapeseed oil because make you fit earthlings. Yes, yeah, so we're going to put some more oil in there. So another thing is we're going to be turning the extractor on as well. But in the meantime, we're going to put the mustard seeds. And I've also forgot to mention that I also need one teaspoon of cumin seeds as well. So I'll put the cumin seeds and mustard seeds, one teaspoon of each of that straight into the pan. And what will happen is that uh, this mixture will start making a crackly noise once you start the heat's going as well. But what we're going to do as well, let's not waste any time, we're going to put in the cloves as well. We're going to put the cloves which are here. And then we're also going to put in the cinnamon stick as well. Yes, that's right. We're going to put in the cinnamon stick as well. And uh, we're just going to give that a mixture as well. Give it a nice mixture. And we're also going to put the aniseed as well. Yes, that's right. Just, act, just give a slight give a good pungent smell with the heat. That 
that's going to start reacting with this as well so as we're going to be heating this process up um, for about one minute it'll start cracking on as well than the noise of the mustard seeds and cumin seeds I can just hear it now just about hearing it and uh, what we're going to do now as well we're also going to put in the onions as well we're going to put all the mandolin onions as well yes that's right we're going to put all the onions as well and uh, put that in the mixture as well yeah everything's going in there nicely and then we're going to let this cook as well yes that's right look at this nice golden color that's in in this pan i mean if you can smell this aroma of onions it's just absolutely fantastic yes that's right yeah give this a good nice uh cooking as well and you see all the nice spices of the pungent smell uh i could smell the cinnamon stick there all reacting with the oil as well and uh, this will actually give a good base to our wonderful rajma curry that we're going to be making now yes that's right all this preparation takes a bit of time as well but don't worry the vomana man is showing you how to make these wonderful recipes yes that's right we're also going to speed it up with it and we're going to put the ginger garlic cube as well so let that go in as well mix that in with the uh, onions as well if you want to start peeling ginger and garlic that's up to you but the Vomani man hasn't got time like he said the Vomani man's all about speed making speed work for you because it works for me and we're also going to put in the extractor as well because let's face it I don't want any pollution in this wonderful kitchen let's give the pollution straight back out the atmosphere where it belongs yeah back out the atmosphere where the pollution all can stay and build up and see what eco program we can come up with to actually help the this, the natural sky, which is actually getting uh, inflated with pollution. Let's come up with a solution, not dissolution, scientists, please. So anyway, so this is all cooking away nicely, and it's all firing up now. Now we're also going to put in the uh, spices as well. Yep, we're going to put in the uh, the turmeric powder is going to go in there now. And also we're going to start putting the uh, the cumin powder as well, yeah, and we're going to put in the peppers as well, yes that's right, and then we're going to put in the uh, garam masala, and we're also going to put in the coriander powder as well, yes that's right, all the masalas all going in as well, yes that's right, and also in the meantime we're going to put this kasuri meti as well, because we don't want to leave the kusuri meti out as well so let's put some of this kusuri meti in there as well so entirely up to you how much you want to put in because i like to put quite a generous bit in there and it adds a nice smell i'm going to put some more oil in there as well yeah just to give it a good mixture as well with everything else as well yes uh, so it's all about try and error yes it's, oh, this is my methods i'm using if you can come up with another method that's up to you to speed up your process but this is what i'm actually using because this is my method and the Vomana man likes a wonderful dish, smells of curry and tasty curries to eat. Yes, yes, right. The Vomana man likes tasty curries. And look at that wonderful pungent color that it's giving out as well. And the smell is just absolutely fantastic. I feel like I'm in Vomana already. Yes, yes, right. This wonderful color and texture and this wonderful smell that's actually combining in this mixture is absolutely fantastic. So we're letting this all mix in. We put everything in now. And uh, also now, what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to put in the potatoes as well. Yes, that's right. I'll put the potatoes straight in there. So let's give, let's give the potatoes a, a coat of this mixture as well. Yes, that's right. All the potato is actually going to be all covered up with this wonderful dish, with this wonderful curry mixture that's actually coming along just nicely. Yes, that's right. Who, lay, who likes plain potatoes? Except chips on a Friday or a Saturday night. Yes, that's right. That's when to have a nice plain potato chip, as they say. Yes, that's right. But in the meantime, we want to make these potatoes all with curry flavor because everybody likes finger licking curry. Yes, that's right. Look at this nice mixture that's actually mixing away. Yes, it's actually just coming in just absolutely fantastic. And yeah, that's all cooking away just nicely. It's all mixing in as well. It's all mixing in. Now we're also going to put in the 
tomato tin as well. So let's put in the tomato tin now as well. And while we put in the tomato tin, we give it a good mixture as well. With this all mixing in as well, yes. And we're also gonna put in the salt and pepper as well in this mixture. Put the salt there, and we're just gonna put the sugar as well in there. Sorry, salt and sugar. Yes, yes, we already put the pepper in. So anyway, that's all mixing away. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna let this simmer. We're gonna let this simmer for a good uh, five minutes and we'll come back to in due course. Back here, please. So this wonderful recipe has been cooking at least uh, between five to 10 minutes as well. And it's really looking nice, uh, thick gravy recipe. So now what we're gonna do as well, we're gonna also gonna put in the, uh, we're gonna put one tin of, uh, I filled up with water as well. And um, because what's gonna happen is when we put the, uh, the kidney beans, it's going to actually, uh, we're going to put the lid on as well and let it simmer in there and let it cook as well. So that's put in there as well. In the meantime, we're also going to put the uh, aspartate as well because that's uh, good for the cooking process and it's good for your indigestion system as well. So what we're going to do now, we're going to let this cook for at least 20 minutes of minimum heat and it's going to form a nice little rich curry and in the meantime if you want to make your rice as well you can make your rice as well because that's what i'm going to be having with this rice with rajma yes yes right so we're going to now we're going to let it all simmer for a good 20 minutes and uh, we'll come back to you in due course for the final verdict and a taste of yes yes right let's put the lid on and uh, put the lid on and let the steam do its process as well so we're back in due course earthlings see you later Welcome back Earthlings, so the rice mer curry is all been done and I've actually made the rice as well and it's really piping hot as well and I've also put some uh, chutneys as well and also a pickled onion there. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take off this wonderful lid. I mean look at that fantastic consistency, look at that wonderful gravy, look how good thick it is as well and it's really nice and piping hot and everything is blending nicely right really well. Yes all the potato and the red kidney beans mix well in this wonderful sauce and if you can only just smell the aroma, isn't that just fantastic? Yes that's right, fantastic. So now as it's all to, done now, we're gonna do the final verdict of the Von Marniman taste off. So here goes. I'm gonna put some rice in there as well. Just give it a good mixture. And I'll put a bit more as well in there. And just get it mixed in this nice gravy. So first of all, I'm gonna try and try, try and taste this nice gravy and see what it tastes like. I can taste the rich sauce in there. I can taste the nice spices that's tingling through my teeth right now. And also I can taste the aniseed as well that was put in initially and the cinnamon as well. Yes, that's right. Now I'm gonna try the red kidney beans and see what that tastes like as well. Absolutely fantastic. Mamma mia. And you know what? I'm gonna have some more because I can. The whole mixture of this wonderful curry is all blended in nicely. It's all about preparation and the one for my man didn't even take that long to make it. And you know what? If the Vermonter man can make it, then you are please can make this recipe as well. Yes, that's right. It's a wonderful recipe the Vermonter man's made. I'm going to have a nice pop of them as well. Just to refresh in my mouth. And have a glass of, glass of drink as well. Well, I'm sorry to say, but that was the Diwali special that the Vermonter man made. Yes, that's right. This was a one-off Vermonter spe man special. For the, for the Diwali, yes, and what it is, now it's an emergency, yes, that's right, they need me back at Vermana because it's an emergency, yes, that's right, today they want me back at Vermana and we're all going to get together, all the planets and all the leading scientists, and they want the Vermana man's verdict on what we should do about all this pollution that's actually circulating through the air. 
We need to come up with a solution, not dissolution. So they want the Balmara Man's verdict to see what we can come up with, how we improve the quality of life for you earthlings. Yes, that's right. We must sustain life and we must help all the grass, the greenery, vegetation, even the animals and the plants as well. So they need a minor man back up there to see what we can come up with a solution so we can have a nice, healthier air. But I'm sorry to say, I've got to go now. But don't worry, the minor man will be back to see you. So remember the golden rule, be good and keep smiling because I'm smiling for you, Earthlings. And let's go and do the Vamana dance as well. Yes, that's right. I hope you enjoyed this special dance. And subscribe to my channel and also my Instagram as well. And keep following me. And I'll see you soon, Earthlings. So see you later, Earthlings. Enjoy the dance and do some exercising. Yes, yes, right. Do a bit of light bulb changing or something. Yes, yes, right. So good to Goodbye for now. And I'll see you later. See you later, Earthlings.